Hello and welcome to Uthin Pro. In this video, we want to have a look at the modules section of the website builder. Here you can create, arrange and change modules of Joomla without leaving the website builder. When you enter the section, you see all modules available on your website. The modules that are visible on the current page, so the portfolio page in this example, are highlighted with a small dot next to them. They are displayed in the bottom position, which we see when I scroll down. So here I just have a custom module with some dummy text and the Joomla login form. And we also see that these are published in the bottom position. When I activate this checkbox at the top, we see that now we only have the two modules visible, which are available on this page. Let's add a third module to this position. Let's have another custom module with some random name, some random content, and make sure to select the bottom position from the Utheme template. Hit save and then cancel to close the modal dialog. And we see that the new module has been added to this position. By default, all modules in a position are displayed next to each other. We can change this. For example, let's make sure the login form appears on the next line. Click the name of the module to open the editing modal and navigate to the template tab. Here we have various settings available to change the appearance of this particular module. We can change the style of this module to show, for example, a secondary card, which will be a dark style as we'll see in a bit. We could also limit the visibility of this module. We could choose any viewport here and it will be displayed only on this viewport and larger ones. So for example, if we would choose medium, it would appear on tablets, desktops and large screens, but not on phones. But we'll just keep the default always setting. We could decide to center the text inside this module. And here we can change the width that this module is displayed in. By default, it's set to expand, which means it always takes up as much content as it can. So in this case, when we have three modules next to each other, all of them will take up exactly a third. We set the login form to be displayed at 100% which will force it to flow in the next row of the module position. At the same time, we can set a max width value for this module. We set this to medium, which will make sure that the form is displayed in a smaller container. And then we center this module inside the row. Let's save this and hit cancel to close the model. When the preview refreshes, we see that by setting the width of this module to 100%, the module now stretches to the whole row. At the same time, we've set a max width value to the medium size. That is why this module is now displayed in this container. We see this with a dark background because we've set the style to be the secondary card style. And also we've made sure that this module is centered inside this row. As you can see, you can use these template settings to change the appearance of your single modules. At the same time, you can use the width settings to build up more complex layouts inside this module position. And you can also use the default module settings from Joomla without leaving the website builder. For example, we could make sure that this module is only displayed on this portfolio page. Just click the module and you see the Joomla settings for this module here. Go to the menu assignment tab and make sure it's only on selected pages. Select none and then make sure it's only on the portfolio page. And we hit save and close the dialog. We see that nothing changes on the portfolio page, but if I navigate to a different page, the module will now be gone on this page. And also on the left, we see that it's not visible anymore. But as you can see, it's still on the bottom position, just not on this particular page. When working with modules, remember that the style of the module position is defined in the layout section of the website builder. So if we were to change the background of the bottom module position, we would navigate back, go to layout, bottom, and then for example, change the style 
of the bottom position and you see that it updates in the preview. Always remember to save your changes. So to conclude, I hope you've seen that the module section allows you to work with all your Joomla modules without leaving the website builder. Thanks for watching.